Hey everyone, it is me, it is I, it's Michelle Alexandria. What is up, people? What is up? I, it's happened, it finally happened. Best Buy came last night and delivered my brand spanking new 65 inch TCL TV. Woo! Um, so a funny thing happened. I, um, we went through the entire setup, very happy with Best Buy service. They're, but there's a reason why I always shop at Best Buy, is they would do, when they deliver a TV and you pay for their uh, installation service, they would do whatever you want. They actually came in, they built my stand, they gave me, they put the TV on the stand, they gave me some very nice cable management, very happy with the service. They set the TV up and everything. Um, the two installers knew their stuff. They moved my OLED into my bedroom. Everything was going great. So happy to get this TCL R625 ready to go home, ready to turn it on. And then I saw the remote control and I was like, wait a second. This looks like last year's remote control. And I didn't like last this year's remote control last year's remote control. So I looked over at the box and I'm like, oh no, oh no. They ended up bringing, yes, people, they brought me the wrong TV. Ah, uh, ah, uh. and I'm not, a, I'm not really upset about it because it's Best Buy, they'll fix it, they'll make it right. So they brought me the TCL R615 instead of the brand new QLED based TCL TV. So um, what they're gonna do is they're gonna end up exchanging this and unfortunately they won't be able to come back out to my house until next week to bring me my new TV. So that kind of sucks. But in the meantime, I get to play with this R615. And right now I gotta say, I like it, but I kind of, but I'm not feeling the Roku system. Um, coming from an OLED TV and WebOS, Roku, the Roku system is just shocking in terms of, it feels harder to use to me. It, it, it simply feels harder to use. And, and I'm going to do some in-depth walkthroughs of the Roku's operating system in the next few days. But my first, on first blush, it just feels harder to use. My initial impression of the R615 is the same that I had in December when I owned this TV, only I think the panel I had in December is a lot better. I ran some LED tests on this TV and this panel is flawless. It has deep black, it has deep blacks, but it's actually crushing blacks. And I never knew, knew what people meant by black crush before, but watching Godzilla and Harry Potter and some other things, this TV is definitely crushing blacks like a bug. And I can't quite dial in the settings yet to do the way I like it. I'm, I'm leaning, what I'm leaning towards is when the Best Buy calls me today to set up the new shipping, I may just go ahead and exchange this and get the H9F. So I'm kind of curious about the H9F, and now that I have the R615, I can, I can actually compare it to the H9F. So I may do that, get the H9F, but honestly, all this TV, all this TV is doing is making me really, really, really want to uh, splurge and get the... 65 inch C9 at 2400 bucks, but I'm gonna get the H9F or the Q or the 625 and play with that for a few weeks and see if I like it. I mean, I do like this TV. I think the picture quality is good for the price. I mean, a 615 right now is only $720 over at Best Buy. That's a pretty darn good price for this TV. Let's take a look at the Apple TV. Apple TV is now available on the Roku, on the Roku platform. Woo, I like that. I really like having the Apple TV because all my stuff mainly is in Apple TV. So let's go take a look. The first thing I notice is how slow it is to load up, at least this one particular app. It's taking forever. It's a weird haze on this TV that wasn't on the TV that I had in December but was on the first version of this TV. What this, I originally bought this 615 October. And in October, it had this weird kind of haze to it. And I don't know if this haze is the TV or if I'm just forgetting a setting that I set, but I went through all the settings and I couldn't find anything to kind of get rid of the weird haze that happens when you switch between content and, and just a general haze over the picture. I'm not sure how to fix this. And it's, and it's only making me really, really 
desperately want to get the C9 OLED. It really is. This is the main reason why I may end up having Best Buy send me the Hisense H9F instead of the Sys 25. Because again, I have this. I'm playing with it now. I'm going to have a week with this TV. No point in keeping it. I might as well just play with the H9F. Especially since it's not good. Best Buy has assured me it's not going to go against my four TV returns. So I'm going to, I'll probably end up getting the H9F delivered instead, play with that. And then around Black Friday, swap out the H9F and get the C9 and call it a day. That, I think that's my plan, unless the H9F really, really blows me away. But here, the Apple TV, I love, I love the fact that Apple is finally opening up a little bit and putting their apps on more flat platforms. So this is a great move by them. I'm hoping they put this on the Android platform as well. I mean, granted, I do have an Apple TV, but I would rather hook this Apple TV up to my OLED in my bedroom and then keep the Apple TV well, I'm going to have to buy another Apple TV regardless because Apple TV has some um, critic apps that I absolutely need and it's on, and that are only available on the Apple TV. But look at this. This is really beautiful. Ooh, it, it's Watchmen. I'm going to have to sign up for HBO now. That sucks. Ooh, HBO now for free. I, I don't think I can get it for free. But yeah, this is nice. This is really, really, really nice. So I'm in talks with HBO. HBO is supposed to be setting me up with a free HBO account in the next couple of days. And once that is set up, um, and if they assuming they follow through, then I'll be able to cover um, Watchmen. But yeah, check this out. This is really oh creep show. Damn, I have a bunch of inter creep show interviews I have to post. So look for those inter interviews on the website. And on this channel in the next couple of days, where I talk to DJ Quills, DJ Quills, Trisha Helfer, and a whole bunch of other people for, from Creepshow. And those people give some long inter interviews. So I'm going to start posting that stuff up in the next couple of days. Um, but yeah, th this is really fluid. I really like this. So yeah, this is the Apple TV app. There's not much to say about this other than, yeah, you get, one day I'm going to go over my top 10 favorite 4K Apple. And does the Apple TV support, uh, weird. Where's my HDR setting? Um, this is not good people. This does not look good at all because you have, I'm in the library. And normally over here under movies, normally there's a thing that says HDR, HDR, um, H 4K HDR over here, where you can just go straight into your HD 4K HDR stuff. But that's not here on the Apple TV. Are you telling me this app is not supporting HDR? Please don't tell me that, Apple. Don't tell me you did this. Hold on. I'm going to have to go in and risk a band. I'm going to have to go over here and risk a band, people. Hold on. Oh, I know I know how to do this. Well, I'm going to have to go over here and risk a band because this is going to really upset me. So let's go over here. Let's go over to C because these things are in... Um, are in 4K HDR, on 4K Dolby Vision on the Apple TV. So let's see. The tra at least the trailers are. So let's see if 4K Dolby Vision pops up. If not, we have a serious issue. We have a serious issue, people. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. And this video just got blocked. But look at those bars and everything. Look at that. That is a beautiful picture. A beautiful picture. Look at, just look at that. that look at the blacks. And I don't care. I don't care if this gets uh, copyright struck because um, I'm not monetizing this stuff anyway. So, but look at that. As long as it doesn't get blocked. 
I love having a 65 inch TV. It is so shocking to me, like different than having a 55 inch. It really does look big. Um, yeah, and so, so that, I, I was scared for a second there because I, but we're on my HDR and I'm gonna have to turn this camera off. I'm gonna have to turn this off to check that, but it does support HDR, so that's good. <laughs> that, that's, I was, I was a little scared there, people. Um, so anyway, uh, sorry for the half-baked nature of this, but I just wanted to give you guys an update on my TCL situation. Um, so my final, re my final opinion is I'm going to end up getting the H9F. So when Best Buy calls me today to set up the appointment, I'm going to say, hey, can you swap me off for the H9F? And I'll play with that for a few weeks. But... I do did this. I, I do really like the uh, TCL TV. I do like it. It it just it's just going to take some time for me to get used to the interface and all that kind of stuff. But I don't think the Sys One F has nearly the color pop of say the OLED that I'm used to. But that makes me a hypocrite because I'm saying again, I'm, I expect the $800 TV to deliver the same performance as a $2,500 TV, which I really don't expect it to. Um, but it's what I'm used to. So I, I feel like a hypocrite, especially after the video I did yesterday. So call me a hypocrite. But uh, yeah, I still like it. I think for $729, you can't go wrong with this TV. But you might as well get the QLED. I know a lot of people are posting message boards saying, should I get the Sys, the Sys 1.5 or the Sys 2.5? I'm like, why would you get last year's model when you can get the new hotness for just like $80 more in most places? I would just do that. That That's what I would do. Um, so anyway, talk to you guys later. Bye.